Hello everyone. Today we shall talk about uh, methods for calculating the settlement of a spoon purpose. So for this, how we can calculate the settlement of a stone problem? We are going to talk about two methods. The first one is called as a stress reduction method and the second is the improvement factor methods. So let us talk about the first method that is the stress reduction method which is also followed by IS15284 part 1. 2003. So as we know, in design of pile foundation, all loads are carried by piles and surrounding soils do not share any load. In case of pile foundation, which is the deep foundation, whereas in case of a stone columns, what happens? It is written here, different from pile foundations, a stone columns and soils which form a composite foundation share the applied loads and differ together. So what we studied here, in case of a stone column, that is also called a granular columns, a stone columns and surrounding soils both takes the load of the structure, whereas in case of pile foundation, that is the deep foundation, it soil does not share the load of the structure, that means it does not take the load of the structure, only pile foundation takes the load. So let us see, we are uh, talking about the stone column. Uh, so th this is the uh, stone column, right? AC is the cross section area of a stone column. AE, you can see this, this is called an influence area or effective area or tributary area. This includes cross section area of a stone column and swirls surrounding the column. You can see this area, this part is called as influence area. This part is called as influence area. This is the processor area of the stone columns. So suppose one asked what will be the area of the soil which exists surrounding the stone columns, definitely it will be AE minus AC, right? So next we can see we should know the definition of a stress concentration ratio, which is denoted by N, sigma C upon sigma S, that is vertical stress in compacted column divided by the vertical stress on the surrounding soil. This is called as a stress concentration ratio. So N is often used to describe the load transfer between column and soft soil. <laughs> so area refreshment ratio, that is also one of the definitions. It is the, the ratio of the cross-sectional area of the column divided by influence area, which is also called as effective area or tributary area. So let us see, suppose you are going to apply the load or the stress sigma, right? That is the total stress on the composite reinforced swath. Sigma is going to be applied on this stone columns, right? A is the total area, which is equal to A, right? That is also called as influence area or tribute area. We should remember here the whenever we talk about the A, that means it includes both the area, the processing area of the stone column and the soil which is available surrounding the stone columns. So based on the force equilibrium, the following relationship can be established and we can write that sigma is nothing but the total stress working on the stone column and A is the cross-sectional area. So which will be equal to sigma S. Sigma S is the Sigma S is the stress taken, stress taken by this soil, right? So stress taken by this soil, soil will be equal to, how, what will be the load? Here, total load will be total stress multiplied by total area. This total A, capital A, is nothing but it is equal to the AE. 
when we talk about the ae ae includes the area of the processal area of the stone columns plus the swell which exists surrounding the stone columns so load total load will be equal to stress on the swell right multiply by the processal area of this swell e minus ac plus stress on the column the stone column multiply by the processal area of the column so based on the force equilibrium we can write this equation further a capital a is nothing but it is a e so this equation can also be written like this way this is the first equation so what we are going to do divide the equation 1 by a what we shall get if you are going to divide the a, a by a in that case total stress will be equal to sigma s into 1 minus ac by a plus sigma c ac by a right so we can see here as we know the as is equal to ac by a area replacement ratio is nothing but ac by a so what we can write in place of ac by a we can write as okay so further what we are going to do we are going to take the common common here sigma s that is the stress on this wall will be equal to 1 minus as plus sigma c by sigma s into as because we are going to take the sigma s common here so it will be divided by sigma s so further as you know stress concentration ratio n is equal to sigma c by sigma s so in place of sigma c by sigma s we can put the value n that is the stress concentration ratio so let us see what is going to happen once we are going to substitute the value of n in equation 2 it will be equal to sigma s into 1 minus cs plus n into as so further we can also simplify sigma s into 1 plus n into as minus as further sigma s into 1 plus as into n minus 1 so now we can see the stress on this swell sigma s we can write sigma by 1 plus as into n minus 1 what is as as is nothing but it is area replacement ratio and n is the stress concentration ratio so here what we can do we can denote 1 by 1 plus as into n minus 1 is the stress reduction factor in swell bws right this is the equation 3 so what we find here it shows that stress reduction reduction factor bws is less than 1 right and increase of the stress concentration ratio n and the area replacement ratio as reduces the factors that means if as and n is going to increase definitely a stress reduction factor in swell will be less than 1 it is also going to be reduced right in other words what's what we can say less stress is applied or applied on this swell because this uh, stress reduction factor is why bws okay this value you are going to multiply by the total stress so this factor is going to reduce the values of stress working on the swell which swell the swell which exists surrounding the the stone column right so let us see further this equation also we can write sigma s is equal to mu s into sigma now the consolidation of composite foundation based on the compression of soil s1 is given by you see composite foundation means the load which is going to be carried by the stone column plus soil which exists surrounding the stone columns so what will be the total uh, settlement s1 will be mv into sigma s into h mv is nothing but coefficient of volume compressibility in swell sigma s is the stress concentration in swell so sigma s as we have seen in the previous slide 
sigma s is nothing but mu s into total sigma multiplied by h h the thickness of the treated soil right and mv is the coefficient of volume compressibility so since uh, consolidation settlement of the unreinforced ground is computed from the one dimension consolidation theory as given below that means we have already studied in conservation chapter that the when this this uh, soil is un unreinforced unreinforced means the settlement we are going to measure by any by the structure only on this soil that means a stone column is not there so this settlement is due to the stone problems in this soil here this is the unreinforced ground that means a stone column is not installed so in this case settlement will be equal to mv into sigma h yes, sigma is the total stress coming from the structure on this soil h is the thickness of this soil right mv is the coefficient of volume compressibility here it is observed that coefficient of volume compressibility of soil before and after installation of the stone column do not change much therefore the mv both the M, both mv will remain same so now <clears throat> we can also find out the settlement reduction ratio beta which is defined as settlement of treated soil divided by settlement of untreated soil so as we know in the previous slides the settlement of the composite foundation s1 is equal to mv into mu s sigma into h divided by settlement of untreated soil which is equal to mv into sigma into h so mv is not going to change much before and after installation of a stone column therefore it will remain same so what we can write the s settlement ratio s1 by s is nothing but is equal to mu s mu s and which the mu s is equal to 1 by 1 plus s into n minus 1 which is equal to stress reduction factor in soil and once again i would like to say as is the area replacement ratio or n is the and n is the stress reduction factors so this is the methods this is all about the stress reduction factor method this method is also followed by is indian standards so now we shall go for the next methods improvement factor method this method was developed by the pb pb 1995 right what he has said he proposed a basic improvement factor method to calculate the settlement of a stone column reinforce a soft foundation by a fibro replacement method considering rigid and incompressible columns uh, with a bulging over the column length as follows so what the equation he has given the settlement in the, the by the improvement factor method settlement s dash is equal to 1 by if if is nothing but improvement factor and if is equal to 1 plus as into 5 minus as divided by 4 into 1 minus as tan square 45 minus phi c by 2 minus 1 so phi c is the friction angle of the column materials that is the granular materials which we have used for the construction of a stone column right so you can see here settlement by developed by the previ 1995 is nothing but is equal to 1 by 1 i improvement factors that means once we know the improvement factor we can calculate the settlement of a stone column so further we can see Previ has also used this chart. He has developed this chart and suggested that the basic improvement factor method is more commonly used in practice. You can see this graph here. On x-axis, area replacement ratio is there, and on y-axis, improvement factor is given. So you can see for different angle of shearing distribution friction angles. For example, 35 degree, right? If uh, friction angle phi c. The 35 degree, 37.5 degree, 40 degree, 42.5 degree, 45 degree, right? So this is the friction angle of the stone column materials. If area replacement node value is known, 
and friction angle is no right in that case definitely we can find out the improvement factor once we get the improvement factor by the previous uh, uh, slides in the previous slides we have seen s dash is equal to 1 by ir 1 by improvement factors so once we know the area replacement ratio and the friction angle of the the column material stone column materials we can find out the improvement factors using this chart and this is a very simple methods developed by previ we can find out the settlement of the stone column so in this topic what we have studied we have studied two methods one is the stress reduction factor method and the second is the the uh, this improvement factor methods right uh, improvement factor methods to calculate the settlement of the stone columns so this is all about the today lectures thank you